Well, Defence Minister Richard Miles has told Sky News there will be a thorough investigation into the aircraft crash that killed three US Marines north of Darwin. Matt Cunningham is at Royal Darwin Hospital this morning. Matt, how many people were on board the aircraft when it crashed? There were 23 US Marines on board this Osprey aircraft, Pete, when it crashed on the Tiwi Islands yesterday. Now, that investigation uh, will take place into the cause of this crash. We know that three people died. Another five people uh, were injured in that crash. Uh, they've been brought here to the Royal Darwin Hospital. There are serious concerns uh, for one of those people, uh, Pete, who was uh, hurt uh, in that crash. Uh, he was operated on last night. No update yet on his condition this morning, but you spoke a little bit earlier to the Defence Minister Richard Miles who says uh, that there will be a thorough investigation into this incident. We obviously need to understand what's occurred here. Um, the US operate this, operate this platform, the, the Ospreys, um, and so clearly they are going to want to understand exactly what the circumstances of this are as well, but this, this investigation will be thorough. We've also had a response from the United States. We see this tweet here from the uh, Secretary of Defence, Lloyd J. Austin. He says in this tweet, we tragically lost service members during a training exercise in Australia overnight. These Marines served our country with courage and pride and my thoughts and prayers are with their families today, with the other troops who were injured in the crash and with the entire United States Marine Corps family. Now, uh, this investigation will look at exactly what went wrong here, Pete. There has uh, been a check at history with these Osprey aircraft. Uh, there have been two fatal crashes before this one involving Osprey aircraft in the past 12 months, one in California and one in Norway. Another uh, fatal crash involving an Osprey here in Australia back in 2017. Uh, here's what Geoffrey Thomas, an aviation expert, had to say this morning. The fleet could be grounded again until they work out what the cause of this crash is, because certainly, you know, if we're having repeated gearbox failures, uh, it, they've got to find a solution to that problem. These uh, aircraft were taking part in uh, an exercise called uh, Exercise Predators Run. That exercise has now been suspended. We are expecting a further update from the Northern Territory's Chief Minister later this morning, uh, Pete, with confirmation at this stage that three people have been killed, another five injured, and serious concerns about one of those five injured Marines who is being treated here at Royal Darwin Hospital. Okay. Matt Cunningham with the latest from Darwin. Thank you, Matt.